welcome to NLF Live. And today I'm going to be talking to you about what is a pro bono attorney, um, what's a public defender, and whether or not our firm does pro bono work. So pro bono attorney is somebody who does work for free. And we are a private law firm um, that does criminal defense. There is an agency called the Public Defender's Office who actually represents people for free. They represent what's called indigent clients. Indigent means that um, the client is basically below the poverty line in um, our county and they need assistance with representation. Like they just reasonably cannot afford representation if they were going to go and hire private counsel. Sometimes there are people who um, don't have a very high income, but at the same time they own a home, so that might disqualify them from being able to get the public defender. So what happens in that situation when people just can't afford representation, but they don't qualify for the public defender? Sometimes we'll get people calling in and asking if we will represent them for free or take on pro bono work, and the answer is no right? We don't do pro bono, uh, not because it wouldn't be something like charitable that we might want to do, um, but at this juncture in our business model, um, pro bono isn't feasible for maintaining overhead and, you know, paying staff and getting the work done on the case that needs to get done because there are expenses that need to be paid for litigation. Um, but what we do provide is a way for our um, potential clients to get gain access to justice even though they can't necessarily afford the highest um, rate right so um, of course we take cash credit cards check whatever people can come up with to make their um, pay their legal fee or make their down payment but we also have a sliding scale in the office based on the most um, objective factor that we could correlate it to which is income right we don't base it on whether or not the person is a nice person what type of case it is whether or not they're just simply asking for a discount because they're a student or how many children they have but really it's what is the annual household income do you have proof of that income and is there a way that we can move you along the sliding scale. Um, then we also have a financing option in the firm. We provide very short-term payment plans for our clients. Um, short-term meaning two months, right? You make your down payment and then you have a second installment within 30 days. However, um, we may be able to get you qualified for a legal loan where a lump sum is issued to you and you take that lump sum and spend it on whatever you choose. Most of the time people want to spend it on their legal fees and then you make low monthly payments to the bank that approves you. And so those are some of the options that people have when they can't necessarily qualify for the public defender. Um, you know, they don't have the money in their savings account because it was something completely unexpected and they need to find a way to afford legal fees that's fair to the attorney, but also works with them where they're at. Um, and so in terms of credit cards, uh, cash savings, borrowing from family or friends, short-term payment plans, or financing, there's usually a way that we can make this happen because we understand that it is a difficult process, it's an unexpected process, and nobody um, planned on having to come up with these legal fees um, because most of the time it's an unanticipated situation. So if uh, you are facing a criminal matter and you're concerned about whether or not you can afford a private attorney, uh, feel free to give, a, give our office a call and we will find a way to get you the best representation we can either with our firm or um, maybe a referral source that we know um, can, can meet you where you're at. So give us a call or look us up on thenevislawfirm.com. Thanks. Bye.